In lesson seven six, guys, we're dealing more with uh, converting rates uh, to unit rates to help us understand a little bit better. And we're dealing with some races here and doing it in that context. So in this case, there's a five kilometer race uh, that's about 3.1 miles long. And Elise competes this race in 32 minutes. And what is her average time per mile? So that's that unit rate. Remember when we say per mile, that's per one mile. So how fast is she running every one mile on average? Uh, give your answer in minutes and seconds, which can be a little tough sometimes. So we'll get to that here shortly to get it into minutes and seconds. And let's uh, show our work here and go through our thinking. So we know what we're comparing here is a five kilometer race is 3.1 miles and she competes the race in 32 minutes. So I'm not worried that it's a five kilometer race. That's just telling me how long it is. Um, they asked me to get it a uh, time per mile. So I really just need to focus on her time per mile. So she's doing, in a ratio here, 3.1 miles. I'll just put M for miles. And the rate is in 32 minutes. Okay, so she's going 3.1 miles in 32 minutes. So per mile, I got to get this down to one mile. And I know if I just divide this by 3.1, that gets it down to one mile. So I must divide this by 3.1 to break it down to per mile. And if you take 32.3.1, uh, you're going to get 10.32 minutes. Okay, every mile is taking around 10 minutes and 30 seconds, or not 30 seconds, excuse me, 10.32 minutes. So this is where it gets a little tricky because we want the answer in minutes and seconds. And right now it's all in minutes. Okay, so a lot of people want to say, well, that's 32 seconds. Well, no, this is 32 hundredths, right? If we say that, 10 and 32 hundredths minutes. So if I'm looking at this as a fraction, let's think that's 32 hundredths, okay? That's not seconds. Seconds are based in, out of 60, right? We have 60 seconds. So I need to get this 32 hundredths somehow to 60 seconds. So I've got to get this denominator to a 60. I want to know what that is out of 60 seconds. And we know 160 don't get along very well. Uh, so we've got to somehow get that and convert it. And we could do it by just taking 100 divided by 60 and see the relationship and how much smaller it is and what I'm dividing by. But guys, there are easier ways sometimes to get numbers that get along. One step that always uh, works pretty easily, if I take this uh, times 6 to get it to 600, because if I know I can get it to 600, I can get that to 60. So I'm going to take this uh, times 6, so I must take the top times 6. I'm going to come over here and show that. So I know the denominator is going to get to 600 if I take it times 6. And if I take 32, uh, 32 times 6, um, I'm going to get uh, 192. So all I'm doing, guys, is making an equivalent fraction. 32 hundredths, if I do that 6 times, I'll end up with 192 6 hundredths. That's an equivalent fraction. Okay, and we know these are... We're trying to get it to 60. So I've got to get this thing to 60. What can I do to 600 to get it to 60? Well, if I divide by 10, I know I can just move that decimal over and that divides by 10 and gets it to 60. Uh, so all I need to do over here is also divide by 10. And again, this is where it gets a little confusing as you get those fraction decimals. This doesn't come out whole. But 192 divided by 10 is 19.2. All right, so I get... 10 minutes, and then 19.2 seconds because I've got it out of 60 now. Okay, so if I could round that, uh, I could just say it's close to 10 minutes, 19 seconds. So this race takes her about, her average mile is 10 minutes, uh, 19 seconds. You know, some people might say, well, you could say that's close to 20 seconds too. You could say 10 minutes, 20 seconds. Uh, both would be correct, again, within a second or two. But the tough part is, is knowing that 10.32 minutes, that 0.32 does not mean seconds, because we know that's 32 hundredths, and seconds are based out of 60. Uh, so somehow we got to get this 32 hundredths to 60. Uh, another way some people do it is uh, they do fraction decimal also, but instead of multiplying by 6, they know they can divide by 10 to get that to 10. So I must divide this by 10, and you get 3.2 tenths which is fine because I know that can get to 60 as well by taking it times 6. 
So if we take the top times 6, 3.2 times 6, you get 19.2 again. So however you can get that denominator to, to, a, to 60 in this case, uh, that will get us our answer because we know there's 60 seconds in a minute. So this would be the correct answer, 10 minutes, uh, 19 seconds per mile uh, for her average mile time.